In the 1930s, the Saint-Gobain company developed a brand new glass product, a thin, light-diffusing, opaque covering. They initially designed this new profile as an additional material meant to be connected to the standardized asbestos cement sheets that were proliferating at this period of reconstruction. In the 50s, the architectural potential of this product's shape revealed itself. One could then observe unconventional implementations in facades and could experience unprecedented space lightings provided by this glass panel. These experiments led to the gradual emancipation of this corrugated glass from simple opaque roofing materials. Saint-Gobain brought its product forward in 1952 by branding it Verondulite, which sounds like the French Verondulé, meaning corrugated glass, and they designed different types. The company primarily pointed out the resistant and durable aspects of wired glass. However, advertisements soon highlighted its aesthetic aspects, arguing that the Verondulite could bring brightness and cheerfulness to a space. Built in 1962, the Rosie factory in Ruit is part of a renewal process for industries, using an architecture of light which integrated corrugated glass in its construction. Spread out without interruption over 200 meters in length like an uninterrupted horizontal fail, it meets the lighting requirements of the sewing works which necessitates a soft and homogeneous light to make out reliefs and colors. Beyond this industrial purpose, Corrugated glass was also employed in schools. Ferrandulite partitions allowed sufficient natural light to filter through and illuminate the room, while maintaining classroom privacy from circulation corridors. Perhaps more surprisingly, this material also conquered religious architecture. Artist Jean-Claude Vigne used Ferrandulite wall not only for its soft and homogeneous light, but as an experimental stained glass window which reproduced the atmosphere of traditional churches in the Champagne province. Through these various works and experiments, Saint-Gobain proved that Verondulite was a material in its own right in post-war architecture. But although the sinusoidal, almost artistic shape of the product had initially favored its development, it quickly became banal and even turned out the archetype of the industrial world. Developing plastic materials, which were more economical and above all lighter, competed with corrugated glass, which went into sharp decline and eventually disappeared from Saint-Gobain's catalogue in 1984.